make you lost, still make you dinner. If I'm in the dinner, you don't see the house. You don't see the house. You don't see the house. Don't tell my children. You don't, uh, I don't have my children. As an African woman, we have a certain kind of upbringing, certain kind of like cultural values that no matter where you find yourself, uphold to those values. So, uh, don't tell me to drink. If you don't want to drink, you want me to come and do what you want? I don't know if I'm going. I don't know if I'm going. You have a plan B. You have a plan, you have a plan now. You have a plan B. That's why you said you have the gun. You said you're to hold up. You're telling me to hold up. Yes. I'm going to hold up. You're going to try that your plan B. Make you start to be. You're going to try that your plan B. Don't worry. I'm saving you. Don't worry. Let me go grab it. Yes, get out. Only to make it should I not make. Cook rice, you cannot cook rice. Every little thing they say to you, you cannot do. Every time you are complaining. You will carry title ship for all the way from Nigeria. You will come to Canada with title ship. You will not support your wife. Are you not looking at your mates? Are you not looking at your mates? You want to help their house, their wife. No one will be bragging. Now, poor Fuhariata. Oh, Jan, where did you go? You will be here to go to the room. You will be here to go to the room. No problem. Because the girls are there. No problem. No problem. Yes. And you want all of us to share everything 50-50. I want to share it. I will not walk in. But you can. I will not walk in. But you cannot help in the house. I will not walk in. And you will not help in the house. You I will not walk in. Yeah, I'm not. Yes, I want to do a job every day for you. Okay, I'm walking. Are you not walking too? Why can't you help? Why can't you help and cook as well? Why can't you help and cook? I'm not sure. Sure. So let's address this real quick. I'll first of all start by saying, like, as an African woman, right? we have a certain kind of upbringing certain kind of like cultural values that no matter where you find yourself uphold to those values you know uh so i will start by saying do i like the approach the way the lady was talking to the husband no i don't like the approach but at the same time you have to end the respect you know if you disrespect somebody you don't expect the person to turn around and respect you okay i'm just saying in general okay one of the most thing that one of the thing that you can hear about this video is like the woman asking for help from the husband right and talking about 50 50 so she goes to work she pays some of the bills and he does from the conversation okay that's what i picked up so both of them share bills let me use the word 50 50 with our generation right and if the woman is going to work and she comes back home the same time you as a man you go to work right and you head back home you're tired right you're tired that's why you sit on the couch you sit right there playing them video games for hours you're tired right you're relaxing so what makes you feel like it's okay for your partner like both of you are supposed to be one what makes you feel like it's okay for her to come back cook serve you do rounds to pick the kids up from school bring the kids home help them with homework after everybody is done eating she goes back and clean behind everybody mm? get kids ready for bed then before she want to go to go to get her shower and come get a cold head and relax down mm -mm. you say no you will not sleep mm? extra meal if you're a man you think that is okay let's forget about okay let, let, let's let's go back See, sometimes like when men like African men travel out of the country you want to still keep that same culture let's go back how about go back to like those days you want to go back to like our great 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 grandfathers right those days right guess what in those days if you are a man and you cannot take care of your family guess what mm? guess what guess what the society will look at you as <laughs> lazy man it was your responsibility. I, I'm using words because back then, your responsibility as a man to fend for your family, to go out there and hunt for your family, to make sure your family is comfortable. And the woman stays home. That was your responsibility. But at the same time, even though that woman is staying home, 
there was still support right we grew up from a culture where you're not just by yourself at home right even when you get married you have like people come to live with their sisters siblings i mean either their siblings or just relative or just you know what i mean like people come and live with you they get to assist you everybody is assigned a certain duty in the house the one that is cleaning the one that is cooking the one that is like taking care of the kids so everybody has something to do that was the kind of culture that was the kind of community that our parents back then grew up with or we i experienced that i'm just saying in general okay and if for some reason you find yourself out of the country you want to still uphold to those same things that your great grandparents were doing they were like the pillars of the house but here you are wanting to split a bill 50 50 with your wife then you still want to come home and cross your feet and be playing video games how is that supposed to work how is that even possible what like what do some men think of women like super super what like just imagine if you if you as a man you leave the house and you go to work and work for eight hours some people work for 16 hours you come home you're tired expect that you other human being which is your partner to be tired too why can't you help pick one activity in the house that you can help with not that you split the bill 50 50 yet you still expect her to perform all these other duties like that's a human being that's somebody else's child if you want to you you want that type of life okay then maybe you need to be that pillar you need to be that man that go out fend for for like your family while she stays at home even though these days we don't like staying at home <laughs> we don't like staying at home you know what i mean you can't you can't you can't pay me to stay at home you cannot i'm just saying in general like it, it it just don't make sense from watching this video you see where the arguments are coming from it just don't make sense it don't make sense and these days like our generation we have quarrel fight in front of kids like we don't even care that's the generation that we find ourselves in i'm just saying in general people wonder why marriages are crumbling these days over petty little things petty little things like taking the garbage out hmm? like making a bed like i don't see nothing wrong with you in my making a bed if i get up from the bed before you why can't you make the bed is there a rule that woman has to be the one to make a bed did you not lay on that bed don't you sleep in that house don't you stay in that house or dishes if i serve your food and i remove the plate what what's wrong who ate from the plate why can't you watch it what's so difficult those are the little things that people are having issues with when it comes to like marriages money duties this that, that it's just little basic stuff that can be sorted out but no 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 that's the problem with our generation that's the problem and until we come to like realization like look we can sort these little things out mm -hmm. like a marriage is made up of two people now one person dying in the marriage let me be honest with you okay if you know the number of women that are barely breathing barely surviving in the name of marriage mm? because they are worried they are scared of what society will say a society in that marriage with you mm -hmm. a society in there with you do what is best for you and forget about what society will say or think i'm just saying yeah stop be for real look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself the truth tell yourself the truth why would you want to be with somebody that regard you like a slave? If you want a slave, go buy a slave. That is your partner, not your slave. Both of you in the house, do what you have to do. That's your home, not my home. Like, not one person's home. The home belongs to both of you. You live there. 
if you are living by yourself, won't you cook for yourself? Won't you make your bed? Won't you tidy your house if you're living by yourself? So what makes you think because you got a partner, that partner becomes your slave? Shh. Uh, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, give us single a break. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it real. Anyways.